dumb but is here to entertain you. Till today, we are still very much in disbelief about the great loss of Siakela's father. We knew fully well that he is a great man and he will forever be a great man. Yes, his legacy lives on. But nobody could have even imagined that he will leave us as early as this. But God has his ways of doing things and we really cannot question his authority. In today's video, we are going to be going details about what actually happened to him, what he was suffering from, what claimed his life, and of course, the details of his funeral ceremony. Before I give you all the entire details and information, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video, and hit on to my post notification bell. The funeral of the popular Reverend Tandeni Lamuka from Moja Love Reality Program in Senkanelengane is expected to be attended by many people across the country, including respected people because he is the man of the media and of course, he is a very respectable person right up to his village. Lamuku passed on to glory last week after an illness that was definitely confirmed by the family. He sadly left 30 children and 35 grandchildren. From all indications, it has been confirmed that he is definitely going to be laid to rest finally at his home cemetery in Mabedlane. The spokesperson for the Lamuka family, who is also their son-in-law, said that everyone is welcome to come along with them as well because it's not so easy for them at this point in time. He said, it is still so hard to believe that the family is cooperating so well, but things have to move on the way they move on because this is a very crucial situation. And if they don't cooperate now, then when are they going to ever cooperate again? It is hard to believe that Babs no more. Guys, he as well, who is the chairman of the Olundi constituency, said that the people of Ndini have lost a lot as Lamuka was a useful person in the community. Lamuka was too young to get sick and leave us like this. Illness is what affected him, but we are planning a very decent one for him. He has to be laid to rest most definitely and of course, he's supposed to go in peace and see peace reign in his family. This is definitely going to be accompanied with dignity and with members of the community. You wouldn't need a car, money or any help if Lamuka was there. The orphans in the community were known by him who personally visited them so that they can sleep and eat. We as a community have lost a lot, said Kaba. He said, they are urging members of the public and members of his political party to come in large numbers to accompany Lamuka because it's not an easy one and they want his family to actually have a light one on them. I mean, taking care of all these responsibilities at this point in time is going to be so difficult. When I see and look at all of this, I even think about Siakela. I mean, this guy is very much irresponsible and several people even point fingers at him for having a hand in Lamuka's early departure. We know fully well that Lamuka was very much ill, but Siakela definitely wasn't the best of child. He wasn't actually living the best life in order to even improve his father's mental state and as well to help his father recover. He was just giving the father more and more headache and more reasons why he should even leave this world. Lamuka was a great man, loved by so many. He did so many things in order to maintain this marriage between Thando and Siakela, but I really feel so sad because it seems like this marriage is supposed to come to an end already. Siakela is not the best of husbands. Thando was there mainly because of Siakela's father. What is going to become of them? Siakela definitely has to man up right now. You all tell me what you feel about all of these allegations on Siakela.